thousand years, Mexico. So you know I'm gonna get a whole bunch of this food right here. We never climbed like everybody, straight up. Yeah. They make it in six seconds. Their imagination. Oh. Build this. Yeah, the Aztecs, they found it. They found it. <laughs> yeah, I am the tour guide. Let me ask you a question. What yes. happened to. What were they thinking? Alright, guys, so now we're heading off to go get some breakfast. Look at her. No, She's gonna be Hollywood now. <laughs> She's trying to talk about her glasses are better. He's gonna bring us to um, get breakfast. After breakfast, we're gonna go to the pyramids, and after the pyramids, we're gonna go home, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, we made it to the uh, breakfast area, part of the tour, and it's uh, uh, pretty much a beautiful location. All right, this is what you should expect if you're gonna opt in for breakfast and um, eventually going in, in into seeing the, the pyramids, all right? I want to see a part of history, a part of Mexico, a part of world history. Just to get a little bit more understanding of the Aztec culture, say I was actually there and seen it. I basically wanna walk the streets and feel the energy from the place. All right, guys, so this is how the breakfast place looks. See some of the guys we were in the air with. Um, it's interesting they have a snake that's wrapping around a real tree <laughs> so that's cool it looks really nice in here guys it smells really good too check it out so the breakfast is a buffet so you go over there and you just get something to eat so you got your fruits some lettuce and raisins right here okay i'm gonna show you the food guys and you can just pretty much see exactly what they have here this is what i'm used to right here check it out not bad not bad not bad food looks really good and this is a buffet so you know i'm gonna get a whole bunch of this food right here and look at the nuggets oh yeah i'm gonna give me some nuggets i'm gonna give me all of this oh yeah it looks all oh, amazing and then you have your sweets here really good so this is what i got pretty much some beans hot dogs chicken burritos nuggets eggs and cheese ham you know the works all right i i decided to stay outside it's just a beautiful day why not enjoy it all right uh, i gotta give you an explanation about this place only 10 minutes yeah all right uh, uh is quinkle yeah Sholol is quinkle has a special meaning uh, to take the way to the underworld when the people die have you seen the movie Coco? No. Uh, oh, yeah, I did watch the movie Coco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the same animal. Uh, this animal has uh, 5,000 years in Mexico. It's a pre Hispanic dog. Yeah. And it's a hairless dog, the main characteristic. It doesn't have hair. Yeah. Hairless dog. Hairless dog. The puppy is another kind. Yeah, it's not sure. It's like Waller. Yeah. 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 Is this dog was part of the whole indi um, the indigenous society here during that time? They were here? Only here, yeah. 5,000 years in Mexico. And these dogs are basically the dogs that will bring the spirits to the underworld? And underworld. Okay. Yeah. It was considered like a spiritual guy. All right, let's check out these dogs. We've seen dogs without hair before, you know what I mean? It's interesting how they're set up. He's the only boy up here. We're gonna bore you with all the extra touring going on here until we get to the pyramids. But I do recommend you come here to learn more of about the the natives that used to live here and their history the reason why i came here was so i can walk the history see it for myself and i think that's very important i mean you guys watch my videos and i give you such a great experience but i don't want to give you too much of an experience that you don't feel like you could come out here so come out here and learn more about the culture here um but let's get to these pyramids all right i'm gonna learn a little more and then we'll get to these pyramids yo imagination uh, what happened what is this Mexico! Mira Mexico! No, I don't want him to show me! No necesito him! <laughs> no more! No más! <laughs> it stands for massage. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god! Oh, this way. What is going on now? So guys, we made it to the uh, Pyramids of the Sun and I'm trying to get an Indiana hat and guess who uh, uh, took the hat from me? Alright, let's go. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Enjoy your Indiana hat. 
I'm gonna put back my Haitian flag, okay? <laughs> All right, just to let you know, this is not part of the tour price, so you have to pay an extra fee. How much was it, 90? ¿Cuánto era? Pesos. 80 pesos, mexicanos. So basically, what is that? Like $4 each person um, to get inside here. All right, which still is not a bad deal. All right, so let's go. I got a tour guide. Uh, what is your name again, sir? Rudy. Rudy or, or Rodolfo in Spanish. Rodolfo, okay. So nice I picked him because his English is really good and he seems very knowledgeable. So when you come out here, make sure you look out for Rodolfo. Okay. Thanks for saying that one. Uh, no problem. And then no problem. in this kind of land, it is the land of the gods. I'm gonna explain to you the best of the best of this place. Okay, go, Mrs. Indiana Jones. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to off the mask, and otherwise maybe. Can somebody come oh yeah so they can see you okay that's him right? i am the tour guide the best of the best in this land okay make sure <laughs> where are we right now in this moment we are in front of the main pyramid and the third biggest in all over mexico that is we call the sun pyramid this is the third biggest pyramid in the world no in all over mexico oh, and all over mexico in all over the world remember egyptian the in egypt okay that's number one okay so the Sun Pyramid, the Aztecs, they call it Tonatiu. That's meaning the fifth sunshine, the fifth generation. Believe it or not, in Teotihuacan, the gods met and created the new era. Mm -hmm. The new era we are. Okay. Did the Aztecs build this? No. They did not build this. No, the Aztecs, they found it. They found it. 600 years later. Who, who built this? That is a good question. Okay. Nobody knows exactly, but 80% of the Spurs, they mentioned the Quiquilcas guys. It was another culture. Mm -hmm. So Olmex, the oldest, the mother's culture, the people in Mexico, Aztecs, Mayas, Toltecs, Zapotecs, and many more, they believe it, that Olmex was the number one and was the most mix that is in the coast in Veracruz and it's a, it's a, in, it's a native um, culture called all mix because this looks like a fact I think they probably uh, modeled Stargate the movie uh -huh. oh, I this. saw that yeah yeah this because yeah. it looks just like it yeah. but it's interesting to see the Aztecs didn't make this one right here they found it oh. and the name is for the Aztecs but it's not the real name of this no, place. No, 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 yet. Nobody know it because the ancestors who were living here, they didn't have any writings, only paintings that we have it. Many years ago, covered all the construction. Mm -hmm. And that kind of wall before was paintings. With in red and it, was, it was colorful. Yeah. Today it is new. That kind of rock is new. It's from 1901 okay. until today. Okay. Before, plaster, okay. stucco, and paintings. Down there, I will show you part of that plaster still we have. Okay, but okay. No, and everything. Okay. Down there. Oh. <laughs> now, was this something man-made or this was here? This is new. What's okay. here, the original. This is reconstructed. Okay. The original only is the first line of the steps. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Miss Indiana Jones. Do, 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 do. <laughs> guys, it's so real. <sighs> Some of you guys are wondering why would I come here if I already did uh, the trip on the hot air balloon and came over this thing and saw a really good look out of it. It's about walking through history and feeling the energy, um, the past energy of the place. So I like to envision things. I like to envision the people that used to live here what they used to do the ceremonies they used to have here imagine this place all lit up with lights and torches and music being sound you're hearing the drum beats the noises it's something amazing happening That's something true. spiritual this is a really beautiful experience when the people been here because they knew about the history the people who built this and then in a minute more i'm going to speak to you why we call the sun pyramid uh, let's go okay right. what is your name my name is ace live uh, i'm a youtuber <laughs> let's down here because i will show you the plaster okay? How was all right let's go imagine this place full with nothing but indians nothing but native indians they don't even speak English, they don't speak Spanish, they speak their own language. A culture that we could never understand. We could hope, 
to understand what is this? What are Over we doing? here, can you see the plaster? Yes. Yeah. It looks like a concrete. Yeah. It is not. This is not concrete. This is 2,000 years ago. Yes. Can I touch it? All of this, touch, touch it. So this one, they have to burn trees and the ashes of the woods mixed with soil, mixed with the water, and mixed with the cactus juice and make it this kind of plaster. And they covered all the construction and painted in red and blue and yellow and green. The inhabitants or when the Aztecs came and tried know. to rebuild this? The Aztecs, they saw, the it part of that. they saw it part of that. That's why in their codices from the Aztecs, they draw it. Mm. And then we knew how was the shape of that pyramid. And otherwise impossible. Because when the Aztecs, they found it, covered everything by grass, by cactus. Wow. It looks like a hill, not like now. Question, did the Aztecs? The people that are before uh, who, who were here before all makes quick quilkas quick percent people believe it that but it's not true 100 percent. we don't know for sure if That's it was right. them that made it yeah. do we have evidence that they had the ability to create this type of pyramids mm -hmm. um evidence before. about that kind of guys yes okay you have that evidence so but you don't know for sure if they made it that's right and also the name remember name is by the aztecs okay and here this kind of plaster also not only color from vegetables from animals from little balls whatever also they mix with the minerals can you see how this is perking it's bright it's crazy how it's still uh, it's sturdy move, move, and it's two thousand years and it's still it's too strong that's awesome yeah okay. never climb like everybody straight up yeah they make it in zigzag zigzag why in zigzag? Because the main god from the different cultures was a snake. Yeah. Quetzalcoatl was his name. Yeah. And the snake, a long time ago, was like Jesus Christ, like Buddha, like Mahoma. That's why seven to the left, seven to the right. Because seven for this kind of people was a perfect number. That is the center from the holy number. This the is holy Aztecs? Number is 13. Are we talking about the Aztecs? Or? No, we are talking about everybody. Okay. No. Aztecs, Mayans, Toltecs, Zapotecs, mm. Mistecs, mm. Totonacs, all of them, they make it in zigzag. Zigzag. That used to be the ritual in honor to Quetzalcoatl. Okay. That's why now What's try it? to make. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now turn your body and count again. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six. six. Plus seven. How yeah, much is that? That's a fourteen. Oh no, that's oh. all. Six plus <laughs> six plus seven is thirteen. Thirteen, the holy number. Mm. Today, for many people, is a lucky number. But I have to tell you, 13 does mean in heavens. People before they have 13 heavens and nine undergrounds. It's not like today, one heaven and one underground. Now in general, the sun pyramid that you can see in this moment uh -huh. has only 65 meters today. Mm. But when was out on top to the biggest pyramid that is 70 meters. Seven. Yeah. The perfect number. Let me ask you a question. What yes. happened to the altar? Destroy it. The time, the people before. What did it destroy? Who destroyed it? The people supposed to be were living here at the end of this kind of place that was a, becomes in a desert. Two thousand years ago was a jungle. Yeah. But the people, I repeat, they burned the trees because they needed the ashes for making the plaster. Remember? Yeah. And then in thousand years, burned a lot of trees, and then the place becomes in a desert. They didn't have nothing to eat, and then the people below be before. They believe it. If they make a human sacrifice, it's going to rain. It's going to produce more food. So that was the altar for And then when the people make a human sacrifice at the end, before to abandon no less than 2,000 human sacrifices on the main avenue called the Dead. The avenue of the Dead, what about that? that? From the moon to the south, and right no rain, no food. And then the alive people get angry with the gods. And before to abandon, they destroy the altars. The altars meaning the head the head of the gods. What was the god? Who was the god? The sun, the moon, fire, whatever. 
Now, check how all the lines of the steps, the dark lines, make a human being. Wow. And then on top, I there see is no it. answer. There's the head. Uh-huh. Wow. They disappear because Aztecs, Mayans, when they make a battle and the prisoners took to the human sacrifices, they cut the head. Like they make it, they cut the head of the gods because get angry with them. No rain, no who, food. Who would be the human sacrifices? Everybody. And that was voluntary. And that human sacrifice, voluntary or no, was an honor because they believed that. Even in, um, they have the game in, um, in um, the ball game. Topo, tuku, 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 puk, tuku, puk, tuku. Tuku, puk, the Mayans, uh -huh. that is, practice. Also here, but until this moment, didn't find the field for play the ball game. They're still oh. looking for that. But they feel like it's here. Yes, sir. So the five players in the ball game, yeah. The winners, they went to the human sacrifice, not the losers. The Very one good. that hit the ball in the yeah. hole. Yeah, and behold, like a basketball, you know? Yeah, so it's here, like a baseball, basketball uh, game. Mix. And soccer game. And soccer game. <laughs> All at one time. Everything in one. So this pyramid made an excavation inside there, and we found it at the corners yeah. in 1901 to 5, children sacrificed it. The children around 6 to 12 years old always was an honor to the water god. Mm. That's why today many people confuse. Maybe it's not the sun pyramid, it's the water pyramid. Same for the moon. Maybe no moon. It is the water pyramid too. Wow. The duality, female wow. and masculine. Right? Wow. The two biggest pyramids until this moment make an excavation and we found it in Rina. You're still learning from this place? Oh, a lot. Still, did you? They were able to get in the middle of the pyramid. Yeah, as we found it, the main entrance to the pyramid at six, six and a half meters deep it at the base, and we found it, the main entrance. Okay. But we can get in, no you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Teotihuacan in general, no less than two hundred thousand people were living here. What's that? That is just to be the altar, make the rituals also there. But okay. some people said. This kind of guys, older than the Aztecs, yeah. they make it human sacrifices there, there. and no one on the top. Aztecs, they make it up on top. Top. Yeah. Wow. So that's why when the Aztecs, they found that this place was under the knees, under the ground, like you can see there, those trees, you see the, the trees, the grass, a little hills there, yeah. all around it, that used to be a pyramid. Like that one was everything. That's why Mr. Cortez, the conquistador in Mexico, when he destroyed the Mexico City, the Mexico Tenochtitlan, the Aztec City in the downtown, here didn't see because all of this covered by grass, grass. and cactus. And otherwise, maybe a church on top of the pyramid. All right, guys, I literally had to do some research to find out what he meant when he said, otherwise, it would be a church on top of the pyramid. After doing some research, I found out the biggest pyramid monument in the world is actually in Mexico. It's called the Great Pyramid of Cholula. So if I said the name wrong, this is actually the pictures from that place. It was destroyed by the Spaniards. Then they built a church right on top of it. Fast forward to today, because of that church's occupation in the area, excavation is not allowed. So nobody knows what secrets the biggest pyramid holds another one of earth's unsolved mysteries what happened to the people gone nobody knows sickness M maybe <laughs> maybe they, they left because they they, they deemed the land uh, also, unlivable yeah i said to you burning a lot of trees and then they didn't have nothing to eat at the end they changed the weather animals wow. gone no wow. food Making it was barren sacrifice and this, nothing happened. this land was cursed oh yeah yeah what and were the villages here around the villages here? around this is a little town from 1800s what were the the natives live they would live in this area oh, right sure too before yesterday because this place 23 square kilometers 200,000 guys were living here still when somebody built a house the new generation at the little towns they found that on under the knees ruins from the Aztecs wow. Maya, Aztecs, Toltecs, Zapotecs, Mistecs, and everywhere happened the same thing. Yeah? Thank you. Thanks <laughs> you, to you, man. You're going to be famous, man. I hope to see you again. <laughs> yeah. And I wait for you guys. Look Maybe I'll be able to uh, allowed to go in there yeah. one day. Okay. And then if you had more time here, we have beautiful tours. Beautiful he has experience. more tours, guys, but I, I just took a little bit of his time, okay? <laughs> All right, but if you want to come, make sure you see how eloquent he was in, in talking and explaining things. And it's just 
it's not even the beginning of a tour that he can give you, all right, guys? One hour, two hour tours, and from here, he can give you some more knowledge, and then from here, all right? We're just giving you a little taste, all right, guys? Thanks, guys. All right. Bye. There it is, guys. I wanted to get real close to it, show you a piece of history. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I travel, guys, for real. So I can go back into time and put myself, my body, my soul, in that time frame. And the only way I can do it is by coming to places like this and really like soaking in the past energy. We can guarantee, I can guarantee you this place did not look like this. It looked new, it looked rich, it looked colorful. It looked dangerous. What were they thinking? Making these. What were they thinking? A person like me walking in there at this moment time probably wouldn't be able to make it. There'll be a lot of explaining happening if, if I was to show up during that time. <laughs> ah, somehow I figure out a way to get out of it though. <laughs> I think I would. You know what I mean? But this is amazing, guys. Que piense? What do you think? Ay. In English. Well, English. <laughs> what do you think? No, it's spectacular. It's muy. Es una cultura muy diferente. Son múltiples, múltiples aprendizajes. Eh, se habla mucho de las culturas indígenas, mayas, aztecas. Se conoce de todo un poco. Se comparte y se entiende porque tanto mix en lo que es la evolución indígena. Y es un buen lugar. It's amazing. It's amazing. Vamos, vamos por allá. Mira, el mismo perro que allá, pero con pelo. <laughs> Imagine, his ancestors used to roam this uh, area right here. So this is called the Avenida of the Dead, pretty much. Avenida del Muerto, no. right here. No, esa es la Pirámide de la Luna. No, ese. Ah, la Avenida de los Muertos. Sí. And basically, just dead bodies lined up Avenida. over here. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> like a zombie here. <laughs> All right, so we're heading to the other pyramid just to check it out. But I think we got it though. All right, guys, so this is the Pyramid of the Moon. Supposedly, that's what it's called. Um, it's a little bit more constructed, as you can see. They still have the altar in the middle. But this is just a smaller version. I wonder when they did the ceremonies, was everything done in unison? When you see some types of military just parading through the high dignitaries on top or looking around, I can imagine just seeing a whole bunch of native Indians just lined up here, just ready for the ceremony. And possibly, you could probably hear from here to here certain commands and certain words. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Yeah, Indiana Jones. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the adventure, the adventure still continues. Um, anyways, guys, if you if you watch this video, enjoy this video. Make sure you come out to this place and see it for yourself. One thing is seeing it through my lens, and then actually feeling the energy. I feel the energy right now. You could probably feel some of the energy I'm giving you. It's not going to amount to the energy you get here. It's beautiful. I'm walking through the land of the past. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Moan away from me. Hit that like button for sure. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content and you want to see more that's coming from me. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Before I leave, I got to remind you, though, to always stay alive.